Coming up, we'll take a look at how our school, Fayetteville High, has paved the way for a diverse administration and student body. We'll also talk to members of the Fayetteville School District to get their opinion on how our school is one. I'm Kay Castleman. And I'm Sam Kicklack. Welcome to the Bulldog Weekly. Welcome back to this special edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Today is October 16th, 2018. Thank you for joining us. We've got a great show planned for you. Let's start off with this week's world news. Paul Allen, the co-founder of Microsoft, passed away this Monday from non-Hodgkin's lymphoma after announcing just two weeks ago that he was re-diagnosed with cancer. The CEO of Microsoft, Satya Nadella, released a public statement following his passing. Stating as co-founder of Microsoft, in his own quiet and persistent way, he created magical products, experiences, and institutions, and in doing so, he changed the world. Our thoughts are with his family at this time. The city of Fayetteville has teamed up with Bike NWA to add bike safety improvements in parts of the community. Founded by the Walton Family Foundation, the project aims to create more safety through an increase in the width of bike lanes, the separation of cars and bikes, through ceramic traffic buttons, and more. To help volunteer for the project, signups will be available at www.bikenwa.org for the coming weeks. Boobash tickets are on sale from now until the 26th. They can be purchased in the cafeteria during all three lunches for $10. Boobash is on October 27th from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. in the FHS cafeteria. Schools all around the country make diversity a priority on their campus. FHS is no exception, and our students and teachers are going above and beyond to make Fayetteville High School a safe and accepting environment for everyone. Reporter Braden Calvert has more. Here at Fayetteville High School, we pride ourselves on being at the forefront of diversity and making sure every student feels accepted into his or her community. Um, we definitely, in the special ed department, our goal is to always have kids with special needs in as many regular classes as possible with regular peers, and the staff and students are very open to that and want to help kids, for instance, get even something as simple as getting to a classroom, helping them find a classroom, and then getting projects completed and listening to their ideas. The staff is very open and helpful in making sure that the kids are, that all kids are successful in their classes. By nature, my, the population of students that I work with is diverse. In classes, I have students from all parts of the world. At that point, I'm working with children K through 12th grade making schedules or making changes or whatever for them to be most successful in their school setting. They welcome students into their classrooms regardless of background or language barrier um, and enjoy the students just as humans. Fayetteville High School makes sure to have a place for every student no matter their ethnicity, disabilities, or background. For the Bulldog Weekly, I'm Braden Calvert. Back to the desk. Thanks, Braden. If you're interested in getting more involved with the diverse student population, consider joining the Promotion of Diverse Students Club. Their next meeting will be held during a &E on October 23rd, 2018 in the 3412. Ms. Hires and Ms. Austin are hosting a trip to Cambodia, Thailand, and Vietnam in the summer of 2020. The trip is open to all FHS students and there will be an informative meeting for parents and students on Thursday, October 18th at 5.30 p.m. in room 3418. If students sign up for the trip in the month of October, they will receive a $200 discount. The Fayetteville School District has a vast array of elementary, middle, and junior high schools. However, everyone unites at Fayetteville High School to become a purple dog. Reporter Kate Harmon has the story. The Fayetteville Public School District is made up of multiple elementary, middle, and junior high schools. Though we only have one high school, each student is bound to be a bulldog. One of the things, we have such a rich tradition at Fayetteville High School of success and excellence. Um, I think that that is a target for almost every kid in elementary, every kid 
in middle school and junior high is to be a Bulldog because of all the wonderful things that go on at our high school. I think that the ability to have so many clubs and activities here has really been wonderful. Having A&E &E as part of the school day, having that built-in club and activity time and intramural time, I think has been critical to allowing access to participation and equity. There's so many ways to get involved with like sports, just different clubs that we have during A&E. It's just the school makes us every, everybody feel so welcomed. This is the only institution in our entire community where everyone comes together to one place. And I just think it's extremely important that we have an institution in our community that we all have ownership in and that we all come to together. If you talk to the people that went here years ago even, they love the fact that we're still one bulldog. Fayetteville High School has created a positive environment for students. The school district is continuing to distill purple dog values into each student. For the Bulldog Weekly, I'm Kate Harmon. Back to the desk. Thanks, Kate. Our school is truly unique by allowing the student body to become one in their last four years of school. Come out to SWIMS on MLK to support the FHS PTSO on Thursday, October 18th between 5 and 9 p.m. Be sure to mention FHS PTSO at the register and 15% of your order will be donated back to the PTSO. Thanks for the support. Fayetteville High School is often recognized for our successful sports programs. However, Fayetteville High also offers amazing theater and fine arts programs. The drama department puts on three main stage productions a year and includes hundreds of students through a variety of different courses. Bulldog Pride is not just about athletics, it's about being one Fayetteville. And what's great about the arts is that we're able to tell stories and to inspire others to think differently and to grow as humans through our passion, that is the arts. Tickets for the theater department's new show, Wait Until Dark, can be ordered in advance at fhsdrama.net. The price is $8 for students and $10 for non-students. And students and faculty can also buy tickets for $5 in cash one hour before the show. The play will be showing October 17th through the 21st in the Black Box Theater. That's all we have for this edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, FHSTV-Fayetteville High, for all new shows and live events. And follow our Instagram at FHSBulldogTV to stay up to date with the news around the school and in the community. I'm Kate Castleman. And I'm Sam Kicklack. We'll see you next time.